Good day, grade 7 learners! Welcome to the special program in the arts, particularly in the specialization of visual arts. I hope you are in a good and a healthy situation today, and I hope you are prepared for our lesson for this day. Please prepare your ball pen, your answer sheets, or sheets of paper. Before we start, I would like to uh, introduce myself. I am Teacher Johnny M. Reyes, your teacher in visual arts for this school year. Okay, for the first lesson, we will discuss the, the brief history of the Philippine art. For its content, we will discuss uh, the pre conquest. Second is the Islamic colonial or 13th century. The third is the Spanish or the Spanish colonial period and the American colonial period or to the post-war republic. Post-war republic. And, and the last part of this history would be the 70s to contemporary. Okay? So we will discuss these things one by one so that we will learn uh, on the uh, prehistoric of the Philippine art. Our objective for this lesson is to, or after the lesson, you should be able to describe the Philippine arts during the pre conquest period, identify the forms of an ancient Filipinos, and appreciate the, the early forms of arts of the ancient Filipinos. Now, let us start with the pre-conquest. Pre-conquest, in the art history terms, we refer to the art before the coming of the first colonizers as pre-conquest. In stylistic terms, we refer to as the indigenous to emphasize the idea of our ancestors that have been making art before the colonization. It is also described in cultural terms as pre-colonial, as a term to use for the general way of life before colonization. Although the terms are interchangeable, it is also useful to keep these distinctions in mind when studying the art of the past. So that means that we will start this school year uh, identifying or discussing uh, the arts in the past. Okay? Yung ating mga ninuno. First, prior to the colonization, art of the ancient Filipinos were woven into fabric of everyday life. As you can see in the picture, this is a sample of their uh, ancient art woven into fabrics. Every expression were all integrated within rituals, mark significant moments in communities like, like planting, harvesting. So as you can see in planting and harvesting, we can see there the forms of art or the early forms of art of the ancient Filipinos, including in, uh, in funeral ceremonies or in, in these activities. Their early forms of art can be already observed. The third are in weddings. Early forms of arts can be observed also in early forms of weddings of early Philippines. Our ancestors, just like all other in the world, during those times were hunter and Gatherers. So, mga hunters sa ating mga lumulong, mga naunang una, si Arunang Pilipino. Okay? They imitated the movement of animals and rain and also the sounds that they made. Okay? Ginagaya-gaya nila yung mga movements ng animals, mga prey, and even the sounds of those animals. This simple activity evolved rituals, music, dance, theater, and even literature. 
So doon nakikita yung mga iba't ibang klase ng, ng arts on those um, times. Okay? Sa mga rituals, sa kanilang music, sa sayaw, sa dances, theater, and even in literature. These rituals are considered as the earliest forms of theater. They're still alive in various regions in our country. Okay, example, yung mga ritual natin ngayon, uh, still, ginagawa pa rin ang ating mga, mga matanda or ating mga herders. Okay, dito sa atin, meron din ginagawa pa rin nila sa mga ibang lugar. Okay, various regions of the Philippines. And we should respect those uh, earliest forms of art and ritual. First is the Mai Banu Banua in Batanes. The Ganyao or the Ganyao in Cartillera or the Suijon. The Kashawin in Lake Ganao in Mindoro. And the Tagbanua in Palawan. So let us look at these pictures. Okay? So this is the Ganyao. The Ganyao in Cartillera or the Suijon. Or in Car. This is uh, the region of Car. Okay? In Provinces of Benke, provinces of Linda, in Pariao, in Tugao, or in, in Mountain Provinces. Still, they, they perform these rituals, and these are already a form of art, earliest or the earlier Filipino form of arts. Next is this, the Lakanyang is officiated by a shaman or a mumbaki. Okay? And this shaman or mumbaki are the, the elderly of uh, these tribes in Cordillera. You know, it involves animal sacrifices. So as you can see in the picture, uh, animals are offered and uh, uh, those are big. Okay? Sign. Okay? So, you can now our form of uh, dances. They are in forms of theater. As you can see, they have their costumes, their instruments, they have their own um, steps. Next, we also have the, the Kashawin. Okay, this is in Lake Danao in Mindanao. Ritual that to ensure abundance during rice planting and harvesting is observed and performed. So, ginagawa nila ito during the rice planting and harvesting. Okay. As you can see, they have um, all of the costumes, designs, and also their props. Okay. And it also offers um, animals as they go up with their big joint. So, this is the video. Okay, next is the Tagbanwa. Uh, Tagbanwa is uh, performed also. Uh, we are also known in Palawan, in the province of Palawan. We live that every 13th moon, three goddesses descend from heaven to bless the planting of rice. Okay, still, they have their own way of doing this. Okay, they offer sacrifices, animals, fruits, and other crops. Their costumes also are being observed. Okay. As, as we can see, colorful, uh, well, very colorful costumes. Okay, and in their costumes, we can all see all, already observe the forms of arts they have, aside from the ritual itself. Long before the coming of the Spaniards. The pre-colonial people of the Philippines already possess varied and vibrant musical culture. Okay, you know? Before pa lang na dumating mga Espanyol sa ating bansa, ang uh, mga Filipino people already have their own uh, musical culture. May, may sarili na tayong mga klase ng music, even the Spaniards in the world. Kahit sino pang sumakop sa ating meron na The country's indigenous cultures through the existence of ethnic musical instruments such as 
we have here the pipes, the flutes, and the sitters, and the drums. Also have the jockey, the tongue, and the uh, angle, okay, or the bone. Okay? So these are the earliest forms of musical instrument or ethnic instruments ng mga nangunong Pilipino. Okay? They are made of bamboo, wood, brass, uh, metals, brass metals, and other forms of material which create a, a music or a song. Okay? Pangalay from Sulu Archipelago. Okay? This is a mimetic of the movement of seabirds. So these are now the dances, or early forms of dances of our ancient Filipinos. Okay, Pangalay from Sulu Archipelago. Sulu is uh, the southern tip of the Philippines or in Mindanao. Okay, so as you can see in the picture, uh, they wear, they wear, they wear their traditional uh, costumes and they have their own steps and at the back you can see their uh, their ethnic uh, musical instruments. Next, we have the Lamandayas Kinabwa, the Lubanog Balog of the Gainon and of the Bilaan communities, and the Manmanok of the Bagobas of Mindanao imitate the movements of predatory birds. So these are the known uh, cultural dances of the people or the different tribes in Mindanao. Okay, the land communities, the Bagobas in Mindanao, which it indicates the movements of the predatory birds. Okay. Next, we have also the Talib dance of the Ifugaos. Okay, the different tribes of the Ifugao in the province of Ifugao, okay? And this Talib dance is used in courtship. The of uh, the movements of the wild fowls, the inamog of the, the matig salus, or matig salus, and the kadaliwas dance of the tibolis, present the comedic movement of monks. So, ginagaya naman nila yung mga movement ng monks. Okay, let's continue. We have here the, the popular uh, Tagalog folk dance, the Tilikling, that often showcase for the tourists. Okay. It is an evocative of the movements of the grain balancing itself on stilt like legs or fleeting away from the clutches of bamboo stops. Okay, this is very popular and common to Filipinos. This is the, the national dance of the Philippines. As you can see, uh, costumes, bamboo steps are very unique to our, uh, to our Filipinos. Recolonial Filipinos simply making images before the colonization. Before masakot tayo ng mga ibang This is exemplified by the country's switch tradition in carving. Okay? Tradition in carving. Okay? Can you guess what form of carving are this? What provinces they uh, came from? And these are uh, made by the people or the natives of the Cordilleras. People of the Cordilleras curve the Bulu, okay? regarded as the granary god that plays the important role in the peoples. Okay? As you can see, it's a big dad, granary god. What else? Another form of curving, wood curving. The Ifugaos also produce the Hadabi. It's a wooden bench that marks the socioeconomic status of the owner. Okay, going to other, other parts of the Philippines, Christianized communities in Laguna and Pampanga are known for curbing santos, or yatama ng mga rebuto, or mga santo, as well as the other wooden sculptures of the secular and non-religious orientations. Okay? Here are some of the pictures came from the Google. Uh, the, the famous Laguna and Pampanga uh, curvings, uh, the Santos or the mga Ibuto. Next, going to the southern part of the Philippines, we have the, the 
third million year decorations called the Okir. Third, Ukil in Tausug and Samal Bajau are employed in wood carving. Okay, so these are the colorful wood carving of uh, uh, the natives of the Serbian Philippines. Next, are you familiar with this thing, uh, kind of sculpture? Okay, this is our can be seen in uh, one of the Philippine festivals. This is the Mungu Jar, and this is discovered in the Mungu Cave, the Lipuan Point in Palawan, and this dated the late Neolithic period. So, we don't shock that. Okay, the thing that we don't shock. Next, it is a secondary burial vessel for burying and exhumed bones or bones. So, dito nilalagay yung mga bones ng mga nang hinuhukay ng mga katawan ng tao na nailibig ng matagal na pangko. Next, another cherry's living tradition is weaving. Okay, weaving. According to Respicio, Respicio is uh, one of the other of this lesson. Textile weaving has a long history that Philippines ethno-linguistic groups have reached the textile weaving tradition. Textile are not only functional, they are also impart knowledge about people's belief and our belief system. Okay, so we can know this one of the natives making weaving. Okay, a backstrap loom or a pedal loom is used to weave the signs of all special meaning or particular cultural group. Okay. Example of woven textile includes the, the piece siyabi held piece woven by Tausog in Sulu and the malo with exquisite tapestry panels called the Lanti woven by the Maranao of the Nao del Norte. So this is one of the common or isa sa mga pinakasikal na forms of weaving ng Mindanao at may tao ng malo ang gamay na ginagamit at napakasikal at isa sa mga uh, sikat na uh, ginagamit ng ating mga Pilipino o mga mababali. Okay? The colorful double-layered tempo mat of Samal of Tawi-Tawi made of pandan leaves is a remarkable example of mundane or everyday object with high artistic value. Okay? So pictures are taken from Google. Okay, the tepo mat made of pandan leaves. Next, weaving techniques are also applied in creating tools for agricultural purposes. Just like this one. Okay, it is called the bubo. In Ilocos region, sturdy bamboo strips are woven to create fish traps called bubo. Panghuli nila ng isda. Okay, isda sa dagat or sa ilo. Next, we have in the 16th century, the illustrated ma manuscript called the Boxer Codex featured representations of various ethno-linguistic groups. Okay, we have as jewelry, pays taking attention to detail in manifested in metal work, such as the lantoans or the metal nut boxes in various shapes made of brass or bronze. Produced cheaply by the Maranao or the Lanao, Maranao of the Lanao del Sur in Mindanao. Okay, so this is an early form of metal uh, works in the early or in the prehistoric of the Philippines. Okay, this is the other side. Texture design of the rhombuses, spirals, circles, and then the sort over the exterior or the exterior of functional. The design is achieved through a special technique of metal casting called the lost wax or desire for a tube process, which involves the use of molds filled with required metal that eventually hardens. So, the lulutan nila metal ang meron silang ginagamit ng mga mold. Another is 
this kind of vessel that employ the same techniques as the brass candy and the gadur, which are used in ceremonies and are cherished as status symbols or as heirloom pieces. Okay? Kung bala ng mga panahon na yan, mayaman lang mayroong ganyan. Okay? Or may malaking ang mataas na tayo sa buhay. This candy is a vessel used for pouring liquids. Okay? As you can see, para siya yung uh, tawag natin yung takorin. Okay? So, uh, I hope you understand the lesson that we had that, that is the, the pre-conquest period of the early forms of art. In the next lesson, we will discuss the other parts of the early forms of arts. Now, it's your time to answer the following. What's more? First question. Describe the early forms of art of ancient Filipinos in the reconquest period. Answer sheet, the sheet of paper. Um, describe the early forms of art of ancient Filipinos in the Great West period. Next, do you think it's important to study those forms of art today? Yes or no? And why? Explain your answer. Okay? Copy the questions and to be followed by your answer in a sheet of paper. Next, what have you learned in this lesson? Okay, so we have here the statement, just continue the statement. I have learned in this lesson that, so based from what you learned in our lesson, in this video lesson, state what have you learned. Assessment, okay. So give at least three first. Give at least three rituals wherein arts are integrated in their expression. So, three answers. Three rituals wherein arts are integrated in their expressions. Number two. What are the earliest forms of theater in Batanes? In Cordillera, or in Cordillera Administrative Region, Lake Lanao, Mindanao, and in Palawan. So, you have here four answers. Next, number three, give at least three ethnic musical instruments during the pre-colonial period. We need here three answers. Number four, give at least four ethnic dances during this year, the pre -colonies. We need to give four answers. Number five, what are the famous form of wood and brass carvings before the colonization? Who are the sculptors or who are the, the creator? Okay, five answers. For the additional activity, using your cell phones or your tablet and also connect them to the internet, search the web the following artworks in our lesson and create a photo collage and put the title at the center of the photo collage. Please include the name of the artwork also. So this art, the titles of each talk of collage. First collage is the earliest forms of theater. Collage number two, picture collage number two, the ethnic musical instruments. Number three, the ethnic dances. And the collage number four, the pre colonial Filipino curvings. And last, the wings. Okay? Submit your outputs, your answers. Uh, wait for the announcement in our group chat. That ends our lesson for today. I hope you learned something and I hope you will answer the different activities. Okay? Bye for now. See you in our next video lesson.